Okay, it's Chinese kid time. Uh, this one is a, zoom in, this one is a logic level tester. Electronic DIY kit, electronic product contest kit. Contest, I don't know what that's all about. $2.90. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's open it up here. See what, see what we can see. Is that something else? Something else. Okay, we get a PC board. Now there wasn't a lot of um, wasn't a lot of information on the uh, on the website about this kit. Um, in fact, there wasn't any, <laughs> and it's all in Chinese but this part number, so I think we can do that. There's an LM324 right at the center, that's a quad op amp. And there's some diodes and there's some resistors and there's some LEDs. And then there's a connector that says plus five ground and in. So you must input something and then something happens. So because it says it's a logical level tester, I'm assuming that high, low, and indeterminate or something. I don't know, something like that. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's like a logic probe, uh, but on a PC board. It is surface mount though, so that's cool. I love surface mount. Uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. We've got a bunch of, there's some diodes, here's some LEDs. What's this thing? That's our IC. Um, so the resistors, I've gone ahead and made sure they are what I think they are, and I wrote on the back of them what their values are, so I don't have to look under the microscope and try to read the values. Um, but they are marked, and the PC board is marked, so uh, no, nothing. There is no assembly instructions for this thing. And so, because it is surface mount, we will have to use some solder paste. Um, before I started this project, I noticed that my old solder paste had dried up. So solder paste doesn't last forever. And um, the actual metal doesn't go bad. It's the flux that evaporates off. And uh, I think my, my tube was four years old <laughs> and it was just really hard. So I just ordered some new um, I get it from this company called CML Supply, not a sponsor. Um, and it gives you a date when they loaded up the syringe. They, they make it in big batches and then load it in these syringes. So February 6th of 20. Um, so that's good. And uh, we will get the PC board and start putting down some solder paste through the microscope. And... Um, I think I will scrub the PC board with alcohol before I do that to make sure I get off any uh, fingerprints or oil or anything like that on the board. So make sure everything's clean. Right there. Got your little Was that Okay. 
Chociaż to Trochę mniej gąsa. Trzeba się wyciekać. Chodź sobie. 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 Chodź One big one. Uh, so this is going to be 6.8k. Okay, so these are what? Super square. Okay, uh, do the eyes. These little round ones are. Just hanging in the back. Watch your small one. Don't worry me. Ugh, easy size. Out of my way. Okay. Okay. Now what I've got is one, two, three, four of these. Okay, so I pick whatever color I want. Okay, right. two of those. And two of those. And two of those. Okay, so it's like red, yellow, and green. So that's what we're going on. There's a LED is just power. I can go to the camera. Way out of the keyboard. Okay. Now I figure out which way the LED goes, which way the is, and how it is. So, check this. Okay. Let's go there. And the LED. The LED will go here at the bottom. And we'll get the card. And we're clear. We'll go there. Let's see if the LED just pops up. That would be. Here we go. We have a board. Okay. Check it out. There we go. There's our board all loaded up and ready for the oven. We'll pop it in and reflow it and uh, see how it turned out. I put a little bit too much solder, I think, on the IC, so we might have some bridging, but uh, that's easy to fix. Okay. Came out pretty good, except I do have some bridging there. I, I knew it came out of the syringe a little too quick, and I put a blob of solder there, so I have a, a couple pin shorter here. But I'll just put a little um, a solder wick and uh, just pull that off, and should be ready to go. Well, here's the board, and I do have it powered up with 5 volts. And uh, I get my power LED on, and I get LED number 2 on, and it's uh, green. Um, and then I have an input here. So I imagine that the logic level will change. Uh, I don't think you want to go outside of the five volt range. So for somewhere between zero and five volts. So I'm, I'm feeding it, uh, voltage in. So there's zero volts. Uh, there's a volt, uh, two volts, three volts, four volts. 5 volts, and it stays green. So, <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't seem to work. Oh dear. Um, I don't have a schematic. I guess I could reverse engineer it. Uh, do I really want to? Oh gosh. Uh, I'm sure there's a resistor divider, and these uh, op amps uh, turn on the LEDs depending on which voltage is the present. So yeah, let me uh, let me poke around a bit. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I found the error. It looks like the PC board was not manufactured correctly. Uh, looks like it was 
I don't know, it just looked wrong. Uh, and the error is right here next to R1. It's a 10K resistor, so the input comes in, it gets buffered with a uh, capacitor to ground, and then it goes through a 10K resistor. And there was a break in the trace out of that 10K resistor, so it didn't get to the rest of the circuit. Um, so I had to put a little bridge here to connect that trace. And once I did that, I got the, uh, I got the board working. So if we're here at ground, uh, the red light comes on. And if we start increasing, it goes off, goes off right around a diode drop, goes off around right around 0.7 volts. And if I go up again, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, up. So that top light starts to light right at about 2.4 volts. So from 2.4 volts up to 5 volts, that uh, that top uh, top LED lights. So it does work. So would I recommend the kit? Uh, I think it's a really good kit if you are new to surface mount. Uh, it's single-sided. It's all spaced out really easily. Um, the parts aren't too small. So it's a nice board to build for a first uh, surface mount job. Uh, it doesn't do much functionality wise, but it does have some LEDs and it lights up and you can see if it works or not. So yeah, I would recommend the kit. It's uh, cheap enough.